Hey guys. Uh, kind of recording on a weird backdrop here because I'm uploading a video right now, so I don't really want to turn my computer off and close it. Uh, a lot of people have asked me what flashlight I carry. A lot of people have asked me if I'm into flashlights. Of course I am because I work at Going Gear. Kind of by default, I have to be into flashlights, but I was into it anyway. Uh, I really do like flashlights a lot. So a lot of people ask me what I carry, and I figured I would do a video on that. Uh, I got to include some knife in every video, at least. Uh, this is what I carried today, just the umdums on and my CTS 20 CP Para 2. Uh, I don't see myself changing from this setup for a while. I do carry two knives. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, I don't get to carry it really as many as I'd like to in a day. So I do carry two knives. Sometimes I'll put a third one in a back pocket. I know that's really strange. No, I don't need all three. But why not? You know, it's fun. Uh, the flashlight that I carry, I've carried it pretty much every day for, what, the past three months, Chelsea? Three or four months? I've carried this thing for a while. The same flashlight pretty much every day. Uh, and the reason I do that is because uh, I did carry this light, which is pretty much the exact same thing. It just runs on one CR123 instead of two. And uh, it had pretty good runtime, but when I really looked at it, this thing doubles the runtime of this thing, and it's a little bit brighter, and look at the size difference. I mean, there's probably a little bit over an inch longer in this one, so why not? If it was a huge difference in size, I wouldn't carry this, but the size is great. Uh, I would say it's like four inches long, maybe something like that, and you could just put it in your back pocket and it fits perfectly. You, you don't even really know it's there. Uh, this does have the S2 LED in it, so it's a little bit brighter than uh, the other Quark 123s. Uh, technically, it puts out less lumens, but the LED is smaller, so it gives you a tighter and brighter hotspot, uh, which it makes it appear brighter and the throw is better, so that's what I like. These are actually, the S2 LED is fairly rare, and there weren't many of them made. I was lucky enough to get two of them, so you probably can't find these anymore, but they did come up with a Quark X series, and that has an XML LED in it, and those are a little bit brighter, but the hot spots is not going to be nearly as tight. So, as you can see, I have banged this thing up. Uh, it has a few character marks on it, as you can see. I mean, it, it does get banged up, but it's not that bad. The finish is actually really, really good, and... uh it's hard to chip it, although it will chip, but as you can see, I mean, I, I don't baby this thing at all, and it still looks really good, so that's a big plus for these lights. Uh, they are really durable. Uh, it does take two CR123s, and the runtime is really good. On max brightness, which is 200 lumens, uh, it runs for like two hours. Uh, the next step down, you, you have high right here. You have the max output, and then you have strobe when the bezel is tightened. Then when you loosen it, you have moonlight, which is, that's really all you need for uh, for nighttime. If you need to get up to pee or something, your, night, your eyes are adjusted to night, that's all you need. And it's like 0.2 lumens or something like that. And this is... Uh, this is like 3.5 lumens, and this is low medium is like 70 lumens uh, no that's 18 lumens this is 70 lumens and uh, of course you have max which is 200 lumens on max it runs like two hours on moonlight it runs something really absurd like 30 days uh, on low it runs like five days uh, on medium it runs like 20 hours and on high it runs like four hours so the runtime is ridiculous uh, 70 lumens at four hours is pretty good and uh, 18 lumens at five days is really good 
So the light has extremely good runtime, and uh, it's really, really bright when you need it. 200 lumens, I don't know if you've ever looked at it, but it's it'll hurt your eyes pretty bad. Even during the daytime, if you shine this in somebody's face and they look at it, they're going to be blinded for at least a couple minutes. Uh, I don't know what else I could say about it. The pocket clip is really good. I do like the operation. Uh, I do like the fact you have high and then you twist the bezel and you go straight to moonlight and then low, medium, high. And then in this mode you have, uh, that's SOS, then you have beacon low and then you have beacon high. So it is a reverse clicky, meaning you have to click it all the way in and then you can momentary after you have it clicked. Uh, I do like that. It can be changed though. You, it's kind of modular. You can change the tail cap and you can change the head, I'm pretty sure. But they're just really good lights. Small, light, and extremely bright with a very, very good runtime. So that's why I chose it and I really haven't changed. I don't feel the need to change because it fits pretty much exactly what I'm looking for in a flashlight. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, if I change my EDC flashlight, then I'll I'll make a new video. But I really don't foresee myself changing anytime soon. Really, as long as this thing works, I'll probably have it in my pocket. That's how much I like it. So uh, give you some kind of detail shots of it. If y'all want to see anything else, I mean, I have some other flashlights. Some of my first videos were about flashlights, but I mean, of course, I've changed a little bit. So, if any of you guys want to see that, then let me know and uh, I can make videos of it. But anyway, the few people that asked what I carry every day as far as a flashlight goes, I hope this answered your question. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, get in focus. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.